Hi everybody, it's Bongo here from the Poultry People and today I'm going to teach you how to make uh, big printouts so you can do projects like this for your woodworking ideas. Really simple and it's not going to cost you a penny if you've already got a computer and a printer and all that sort of stuff lying around. I'm going to clip this on here. I've already done this video once but it was that wobbly and shaky, it was just unusable so let's have, a, let's have another go at this now. Right, first things first we're going to find an image. Pa it was Pam that put me onto this. Uh, she's got a, a YouTube channel. I uh, can't remember off the top of my head. I'll, I'll, I'll dig it out for you. Then uh, a, a guy on my YouTube account as well. Can you make a, a Dodge Ram plaque? Okay, well, that's quite a nice design. So let's go to Google and type in Dodge Ram Silhouette. And click on Images. And it's going to bring a load up. They're going to be hit and miss. They'll be different sizes. So go to Tools. And then to Size. And click on Large. The, the bigger the picture, the more detail in it. So when you blow it up into something bigger, you still get a lot of that fine line and edging that you'll use to follow your... You've used for the router. If it's a small picture and you blow it up, it'll be diffused and it'll be quite difficult to do. Let's click... Add, that's, that's, that's nice and simple, this one here. Let's click on that. View image. Right click, save image as, and dodge, ram, and it's in public pictures, save. Now that's the, that's the first part of it done. So we've got our image sorted out already. And the program that we want is quite an old program. I found it years ago called Posterizer. That's it there. Like I said, it's a really old program, was it? 2005 or something, 12 year old program. Not sure if it's gonna run on latest Windows configurations, but you can buy old computers for you know 20 and 30 pounds these days. It's well worth having. This is a, an old 40 quid laptop I've had lying around. It's ideal for the workshop. Okay, first things first in Posterizer, you have gotta to go to the text section here and then just click that so it's got no text. Then click apply text has gone you might want text so you know leave that on or you know if you're doing that it's got a photo open image and it was in public wasn't it public pictures and it was there dodge ram excellent so it's put the picture in and it's already got presets to however number of pages it's got going on there, which I don't want. We'll start off with the image here. Click on more. This is quite important. Already been done. It's already been cropped perfectly to the, to the image. Sometimes the pictures have got overlap on them up and down. So you, you move these lines backwards and forwards just for the section that you want to have done. So that's fine. Go on to border. Border width at 5%. I don't really need a border width at 5%. I'm going to take that down to 2 or 1 even. Lines. I don't really want lines. I'll put them in white so they can't be seen. Happy with that. Show header, page numbers, show cut lines. Yeah, if you want all that, go for it. I don't really want that. Uh, I'm good enough to do it without, really. Now, this is the interesting part. Size. Width, 3 pages. And then it's on auto, so it's automatically doing it. It's automatically doing it to size, however many pages that we want. I'm really lucky I've got an A3 printer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change it from A4 to A3. Uh, change the margin down from 10 mil. Get down to a 4 mil like that. Apply. Okay, I don't want it over three pages. I don't want a huge one, so I want it over two pages. And there, it's given us a representation here of the top of how it's going to be printed out. And that's it. Print. OK. It'll take a bit of time to warm up. I've just come in from the cold now. <laughs> that's the sound of my tripod. Which is broken. And there we go. It's done. Just got to trim it out now. I can glue it to a piece of piece of wood and then just go over it with the router. Really simple. 
cost me nothing. The program is it's not pirated or anything. It's open source programming. Got to give a big thanks to whoever wrote Posterizer. I'm not too sure who it was. I think they're an Italian Italian outfit. Well worth downloading. Cost you nothing. Link is in the description of the video. Ideal for posters. I mean, look at this now. I changed this to. Brilliant, it's done. Ideal program if you want to make posters for a, a child's room or for your workshop and everything. I mean, we could change this up, change this now to say eight pages. Apply. Boom, and it's huge. That, you could glue that on, a fair bit of cutting out and stuff to, to do there. Um, and, and it works with all images. Photo, open image. What have we got? Ah, let's do a Raggles one. More. Boom. Trim it down. Apply. Will it do it? Not enough storage. I think we've come to the limitations of uh, computer programming these days with this computer. I think I need to upgrade the RAM on it. Asking a lot of it, of this computer. It's uh, it's not having that. It, it's, it's done the black and white image quite nicely. Maybe if I shut it down and try it again, it would do that. Maybe the program's got slight faults in it. Wow. Okay, so first time around it seems to work all right, and then you try and do something else and it's failing. I'm, I'm going to guess that that is down to uh, memory size and limitations of this laptop. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's only something like uh, two megabyte memory. No, two gigabyte memory RAM. So yeah, not enough storage available to process this command. But it's look at that. Could print that out now and it'd cover a wall. It'd take a lot of ink though. Oh, my poor Mr. Raggles. <laughs> so there you go. How to make a massive printout. I hope that helps you in your work. Have fun. Great program. Thanks for watching.